Hey there friends, Martin from Matthew Studio Equipment here to talk about the world famous Quacker Clamp. Yes, it is a beadboard holder. It has many, many names, but we call it a Quacker Clamp and it is made to hold your beadboard, your fill card, your foam cord, whatever's gonna give you that beautiful soft bounce, that soft bounce light is the best light return. This guy's gonna help you hold it in place. It has two plates right here. They're made to open up and hold that card, that board, right in place when you mount it in there. And then you have a 5 8 baby pin. Industry standard with the knurled undercut so it's gonna stay put and it's not gonna roll around once you bite down with that T-handle. And it has a safety hole. Why? Because safety is no accident. You put your R pin, your split pin, your cotter pin through there and it's gonna make sure that this stays in that receiver. Let's talk about this part of it. This is a very important part. It is the vice grip, the original vice grip where you can adjust the tension right here. It even has a little hex socket so you can use a tool in there. I usually just use my fingers, but each to their own. Once you crank this down, you're gonna have a little release lever and you can just release it and boom, it opens right up. So let's mount this onto our card. It's very easy, but there's certainly a way to do it. Here's my bounce card and here is my quacker clamp. What I'm gonna wanna do is line that bounce card up right to the edge of the plates. You don't wanna go all the way in here because that's gonna deform the edge of your board. You wanna line it up right to the edge of the plates right there, crank down. If it's too loose or if it's too tight, you can just loosen with that little lever crank down on that adjustment, and then you've just tightened it up, opposite to loosen it up, and there you have it. Now that I have this bounce card mounted into my quacker clamp, I'm going to be able to mount that 5 8 baby pin into my C-stand. I'm gonna find that perfect angle for that beautiful bounce, and there you have it, you're gonna crank it down. Now here's the thing, it's gonna be flopping around. You don't want it to flop around. If the wind picks up, you want your bounce card to be able to be still, and maintain that beautiful bounce light. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna loosen that top grip head, and now you're gonna loosen the bottom one and push that arm against the bottom of the card. Once you've done that, you can crank down up top, and you are supporting the bottom of the card with the 5 8 arm. So you have the bottom supported, and you have the top supported, and now you can still loosen the head, and you can pan it back and forth, and then you can loosen the head again on this side and you can tilt it up and down and find the perfect angle for your bounce. Once it is all locked off, you have a much sturdier card that is not gonna be blowing around in the wind. Always bag your stand, big leg out, and there you have it. One more tip, if you want to do the opposite and you are going to be having a downward angle on this guy, if you want a nice top bounce, you're going to loosen this guy, send it up to whatever height you want, that's a good spot right there because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this bottom T handle on this riser. I'm gonna loosen and loosen again and I'm going to tuck it underneath the bounce card. So now I have the card supported up top by my quacker clamp and I am wedging it in between the T handle and the riser right here on the bottom. And if I want a nice vertical angle, there we have it. If I wanna flatten it out more, no problem. I'm just gonna loosen this guy I'm gonna flatten out to wherever I want it. Right there, I crank it down, and I can still rise and lower and have not only the top of the card supported by the quacker clamp, but the bottom of the card is also supported by this T-handle right here. There you have it. It's all about supporting your gear the best way you know how. And how are you gonna do that? Matthew Studio Equipment, come on. The best of the best. The quacker clamp is awesome.